Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Kuretake Gem Colors palette. So I finally got my hands on a metallic slash pearlescent watercolor palette and I'm so excited to share my thoughts on it. So as you can see the palette comes with six colors, a red, a pink, a gold, a green, a blue and a violet. They are all uh, sort of jewel toned colors, so if you're looking into that, you should definitely um, check this palette out. Uh, the pen size is pretty big comparing to my Windsor and Newton half pens, but I don't think the quantity of the watercolor is um, that much generous because I've had my Windsor and Newton for quite a while and I haven't hit pen on pretty much any of the colors except the white. And these I've been using only this week, but I can already see a hole in the gold. Um, so be aware of that uh, when you purchase them. Overall, the actual watercolors are very creamy in texture. I would recommend adding a bit of water before you start painting because they are a bit stiff when you first try them out with water. A disadvantage that I found was the packaging. It um, feels pretty cheap and it's made out of cardboard and also you don't have a mixing palette to go with it, so um, that's probably one of the few minuses that I found with this watercolor palette. So as you will see I did some swatches uh, before actually doing a painting with them. Uh, some of the colors that I like more than others, for example, the purple, uh, the red and the pink are not so opaque and in comparison the gold, the green and the blue are more opaque and more uh, vibrant, I think. The gold is definitely my favorite out of the bunch. Uh, you will see that it kicks off the most color from just one swipe. Um, also, I tried mixing a few of the colors. I mixed the green and the blue to obtain a kind of teal color and it actually made kind of a mermaid scale color, which I really like. And I also mixed the blue and the red to see if the purple would be different, but it's kind of similar to the one in the pan already. And also I mixed the gold and the green, but uh, the differences are very subtle. Uh, between the mixing uh, and the uh, actual colors in the pan. So as you will see I did the swatches on white paper and black paper. These definitely work best on a dark background. Um, as I saw online they're usually used for calligraphy. So, so I would recommend if you are starting a drawing with them, keep in mind to put them over darker colors because the overall effect will be much more intense and much more cooler, I think. So this palette retails on Amazon for about $9. I bought it from Romania uh, for about $12. I think the pricing is pretty fair considering that the packaging is not all that fancy and the quality uh, of the watercolors is really good overall. So I hope this review is helpful if you're looking to buy this palette. If you want something to just add really nice accents like a gold or I don't know a green to some sort of painting you're doing I think this is a great purchase and if you want to see how I use it in an actual painting, just keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!